As winter continues south, cold weather becomes far less extreme, but can be even more dangerous. The next stop is to the cold death capital of Europe. Moscow? Helsinki? No. London. Just because we can't see the ice and snow doesn't mean that cold isn't a killer. Britain very rarely experiences the extremes that winter can bring, like ice storms and blizzard, so it may be surprising to learn that there are more cold-related deaths in London than anywhere else in Europe. These hardy Londoners are swimming in water that's five degrees Celsius. Even this can be lethal, as one in six people would be dead after 15 minutes. So what enables them to do this? Firstly, the heart rate can nearly double and the blood pressure increases. The blood vessels at the skin's surface constrict to try and conserve the blood where it's really needed, around the heart and lungs. The blood now becomes thicker and stickier. This is a normal response to cold, and it's this everyday reaction that can sometimes cause a sudden and painful death. It's a story that repeats itself every day across London. A cold winter's morning, a commuter hurries to the station. The rush hour has begun. It could be you. It's such a cold this morning, isn't it? No hat, no scarf, no gloves. So what? It's cold, but it's not snowing. As you wait for the train, your body is already shutting down the blood vessels nearest to the exposed skin. As you shiver, your blood is starting to thicken and retreat back to your vital organs. As it gets thicker and stickier, the nightmare scenario begins. A tiny clot starts to form. As you worry about being late, the clot is on time to reach your heart. That night, you suffer a lethal heart attack and never make that journey again. The coroner's report adds you to the statistics, death by natural causes. The figures show that in London, over 3,000 extra deaths happen like this every winter. Across the UK, the figure is closer to 20,000. All victim of an invisible serial killer, cold. But the real tragedy is that it could so easily have been avoided just by wearing a hat and gloves. <laughs> 